So I'm going to go into blueprints and drag a first person character blueprint into the world. And if you go down to the bottom of his properties, you'll see that he becomes an AI which when he's placed in the world, which is good for us. But if you click play now, you'll see that all you can see is his um, first person gun mesh. So let's double click the character blueprint and select that first person gun mesh. And under rendering, click only owner C. And uh, then you can't see anything at all. So we go to this mesh here, which uh, is meant to be the third person character mesh. And we'll change it to the SK underscore mannequin. And you will go into the viewport and see um, that it's not quite properly aligned. So I, I think he belongs at minus 96 in the Z dimension. And minus 90 degrees. And if you scroll down on the rendering again, you'll want uh, owner no see. And also you'll want to set the animation blueprint to this one here that's uh, provided by Epic Hero TPP. And he's missing a gun of his own. So let's add a component, a skeletal mesh component. I'm going to call it a uh, 3P underscore gun. And if you drag it up to that mesh, it will become parented to the mesh. And change the skeletal mesh to FP gun. Change the rendering option to owner no see. Now if you click play, you should be able to see all the correct things. I'll just change the rotation of that gun. It needs to be um, parented to hand underscore R. And it belongs at 90 degrees, zero, zero, zero. Now if you click play, the next problem is that um, bullets will travel right through that mesh. So we need to set up the collision for the project. I'm going to add a new object channel called hitbox. And that should do for now. Back on the first person character, we'll change the collision settings. We'll just go custom and make it a hitbox type. And that can ignore everything but the projectile channel. And let's check our first person projectiles collision settings. Just under collision component here. And it looks like it should be all good, but we need to set collision enabled to either physics only or query in physics. We'll just do query in physics. And now it should bounce off the character. To apply damage, we go into our first person projectile blueprint and click on projectile and right down the bottom here, uh, add an on projectile bounce event. Drag out this impact result wire and select break hit result. Grab the hit actor and type cast first and select cast first person character. Now that will um, see if anything we hit is a first person character. This will run every time anything's hit, but this will run only when it hits a first person character. And drag out this wire and type apply damage. I'm going to set it to 34 damage and the character is going to have 100 health total. 
it's good to wire up these instigator and damage causer wires as well. The damage causer is this actor, the projectile. And uh, the instigator, which should usually be uh, connected up, you've got to make sure of that though, is the controller of the pawn who shot the projectile. Compile that, and just for your debugging purposes, it might be a good idea to print a string out after we've done that. It says gave 34 damage and lasts for 20 seconds. Let's see if that works. Next thing is to go to the first person character blueprint, right click and type event damage and let's do event any damage we'll need to add a variable change it to a float call it help compile and then you can set the default help to 100 make it editable And then whenever we take any damage, let's set the health to what the health was and subtract the damage amount. Let's print out a string again. This time yellow. And we'll just say receive damage. All good. Now let's go into first person character and after our event enemy event any damage. Let's get the health and type in less than equals. And get a branch or an if statement. And if the health is less than zero, then we'll um, take the controller. If this is a player character, then this will be the controller which takes all the keyboard input and such. And we'll unpossess. take the capsule component because if this is not a player controller this is an NPC that capsule component will remain there for a short while and just block the player from walking around where the uh, NPC was hit so let's set his collision response to all channels to ignore Let's take this mesh and we'll set the simulate physics. That's almost correct. The last thing to do is go into project settings and collision again. And let's create a new preset, call it dead char, and it's going to have collision enabled, a physics body object type, and it will block everything except for it will ignore pawns. Back in our first person character blueprint, we'll set this mesh's collision response or its collision profile name, sorry to dead child much better